What is up, YouTube? Okay, I have a lot to do today. I'm up a little bit later than I was supposed to be. It's kind of the usual tale for a Saturday. Jesse's probably mad I'm not at the shop right now, and I'm sorry. I had a lot of stuff I had to do this morning, and last night I was up super late eating Abelardo's and regretting it. I'm trying to think. So I know I've seen a lot of other YouTubers, a lot of my friends, a lot of everyone uh, talking about getting some killer, killer deals on real Japanese wheels lately. Now, I love Kruber, I love Streeter, I love 4th Up, all those sort of guys I've gotten great stuff from and I've gotten great deals on, but I'm going to show you guys how to get the best deals on work wheels in America using none of those services. So that's going to come a little bit later on, we're going to get to that. Um, as for right now, I just have to kind of do a couple little bits and pieces for the S13's SR swap, uh, the last bits of cooling stuff. So right now we're actually going to go to a little shop and we're going to grab the last thing we need for the cooling supplies. Something else came in, we're going to unbox that. So first things first though, I want to see if the Skyline will fucking start because I haven't started it in like a week. It's been garbage out. A couple days it got to like 5, 10 degrees. So let's go ahead and see if this thing starts. Oh wow, you guys haven't seen the interior of this car yet. Well, here it is. Anyways, we'll get to that later on. I let the fuel pump prime for an embarrassingly long amount of time because for whatever reason, this thing does not like to start for me right now. I'm assuming it's something with the fuel pump or a regulator that's inside of it. Fingers crossed. Look at that. Now, I don't know if it's the belts or the pulleys itself that are going bad. I'm gonna get to that when it's a little bit nicer out. It's the power steering though, you can hear it. Kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. That's just something I gotta get to. Other than that though, it starts and idles really, really strongly. to operating temp while I run the last couple things of the car for the shop. It takes a long time to get to operating temp. Uh, I'm impatient. So crazy that I have this car when I think about it. And yes, my coastal friends, it is very sunny, but very snowy. So sick of it. Now back in the Impreza, and I'm going to go grab quite possibly one of the most JDM parts that's going to be on the 240. Oh wow. If you can see in the back, that's all the parts I got. I'm going to do that Skyline video, I promise. Yeah, well screw that. That's insane. Um, I was going to the Asian market to get like a Calpico can to be my catch can, and the lines were like 10 to 15 people deep on each register. So we'll get that at another time. Okay, so I'm gonna unbox these, right? Because I guess everyone does unboxings. And I'm really a, uh, a person that really likes real parts. And we, we tried, we really tried to do real parts. I got a cheap coil radiator, but it had a hole in it and I shouldn't have tried to patch it. So uh, we got the next best thing, which is eBay. Okay. Yeah, so as you can tell, it's not a wide angle lens. This is literally just bent. Yep, that's actually to make it flow better with air. Uh, it cools it faster. So yeah, this is not brushed aluminum, that's spray paint, you guys. Then, we have fans, which I didn't use my sponsorship for because I'm broke and I couldn't afford the sponsorship. And I'm just gonna lay out this amazing quality of parts because it's just, I'm blown away with how nice it is. So if the bends on the radiator weren't enough, yep, yep. Oh, and then don't worry, the top fits great too. The holes are, are there and it's up an inch. This is for all the non-believers that thought the 240 didn't exist now that I own the Skyline. I'm not gonna show anything else though because I'm working on all those vlogs and I'm gonna do a whole unveiling, it's gonna be great. But look, don't look at anything else like SR with a shitty non-fitting fan shroud and radiator that we're gonna have to chop up. Okay, I lied because I'm kinda geeked up and this is gonna be so cool. We're doing a slanted radiator and it's gonna look like that. Walking all the leaves in the cemetery When I came in on a spirit flow away All black gone with the shades like blade Dirt on my boots from a fresh dug grave Blood on my hands wash away with the rain I'm fucked up I don't think I talked about it because we weren't vlogging last weekend But Joel got a new project, refresh project New shell for his old project Anyways, here it is Work to be done, lots <laughs> The real question is, what costs more, the shell or the JDM hood scoop on the hood? The, the funny thing is, retail market value, JDM hood scoop more than the shell. So the original idea of this, and it was way too cold for me to be slinging a camera out around during that, is that he bought it literally for the doors because he has a crash car and we're going to cut the front end off of it. 
It turns out this thing's like a two owner car and it's super, super nice and clean. So he's taking all the bits from the crashed STI he bought and going to be putting it in this. Uh, Jake voted Sawzall even after seeing how clean it was. Yeah, that was, I was really excited to be cutting it off because he was going to cut the the rear over, not over fenders, what would you, the wide fenders? And the quarters, basically. The quarters, and he was going to put them on his wagon that he has to make a rear, rear end wide wagon, um, which I'll throw a picture of what it would look like here. So if you think he should still cut it up, comment down below. There's no cutting it up. We're past the point of cutting it. Just wait. Yeah, I literally don't know what they're doing, so. Oh, steering column, so it's mobile. So, <laughs> so he can whip control. it. It's because uh, we were pushing it on the trailer last, that was only a week ago. A week ago, we were literally yanking the wheels on the front left and right to steer it. And there was like three inches of ice everywhere. So it was great. It was awesome. So I bothered the boys enough. Um, right now, I'm going to go dive into... Uh, this little wheel deal that I have to show you guys how to get the cheapest fucking real wheels you can get inside the US. I have a little bit of a drive ahead of me, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna listen to a bunch of leaked music that I heard and enjoy it. Or getting the best prices you can for real wheels inside the United States. Uh, it's not a website, it's not uh, a shop you can go to, it's not like a proxy service from Japan. The wheels have to already be here and it doesn't happen often, but you gotta get hooked up fat by your homie. Boom! So I picked up some work Euro lines today. I got these for a stupid good price of $200 and a scrapeyard hoodie. Silas, bro, thank you so much for hooking it up for such a good deal, because these are gonna be great for my little brother's new daily. I can't lie, they do need a little bit of love, but... Spend a couple hours on these tonight, just kinda see what I can get cleaned up on them. There was tape on them for a long time, so it's kinda sticky. Uh, it looks like someone tried to paint strip them, maybe sand them down to get them ready for a different sort of color of paint. Uh, but I'm just gonna go in and do the kind of the usual first few steps we do when we first get wheels and see if we can make them cleaned up a little bit. Um, but I think these look really nice. So you guys, there you have it. The best way to get wheels inside the United States is having your homeboy just have them and hooking you up with a great price. Thanks again for getting to the end of this vlog. I know it wasn't anything super 240 or super Skyline related, but hey, I do other stuff too, so That'll be coming soon. It'll, I don't know. I think this is a good vlog. I think we got a lot of stuff done. So, solid Saturday. I'll update you guys on these wheels in the future. We'll have a test fit, be installing all the parts, all that stuff. So, for now, I'm going to get them cleaned up, and thanks again for watching. Sash.